I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Notre Dame's been hitting on all cylinders the last few games. They've ripped off a string of Ws, trying to extend that streak, but the key is keeping Big Mo on your side. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. for this college football matchup. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Lewis Air Force is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Lewis fields it at the 7. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 44. You gotta love opening the game with a solid kick return like this. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Got it and brought down immediately. Good for a gain of 6 yards. That'll bring up second and three. Tackle made right around the 38-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Gets it. He's in space. And they make the stop at the 23-yard line. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. Zips it out to his runner, and he's got him again. And he's taken down at the 16. That's a game of seven on the way. That'll make it second and four. He tackles him for a loss. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. From the 19-yard line, it's third down. Screen pass. He's got his half back. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. Jack's been having a remarkable season. Herbie, we saw him break that record last game. Right now, he's got to not let that go to his head because the guys on the other sideline would like nothing more than make him forget all about it. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 55-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So the score now, 7-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Fuller's big play building makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches. I love this guy. And let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you've got a shot at least at slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing.
Pitches back. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. Losses on the Fourth down. Hitman awaits the snap. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. That makes it seven and six. Notre Dame is up a score. Caught in a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. run up the middle the quarterback held on to it and turned it into a first down that's very frustrating for this defense going deep lays it up there There's a strike complete. It's a tackle and he'll score. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 24. And down he goes at the 33. yard line. It's first down. He's tackled. That's the 36. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. down at the 35 yard line seems like every game this guy's in the offensive backfield bringing guys down for a loss he's just got a knack for making plays and we've reached the end of the first quarter 14 nothing Notre Dame Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. He airs it out. Almost. 
picked off. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. That'll make it fourth and ten. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. It's a short kick. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And now he's got room to run. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He's tackled at the 35. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. First down. for a loss. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Second and 13. Ball on the 20. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Harris gets six yards on the play. That makes it 37. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And this play is number eight on the drive. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. Rose, complete touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Bulldogs were ranked 18th. They hope this victory will push them even higher. And for New Mexico State, They've now lost six in a row. Fresno State wins it 24-20. All right, thanks, Reese. Harris looks ready to kick this one off. Anderson's back to the time. Green from the one. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He fights forward to about the 23. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 23. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. That'll bring him third and six. He's got an opening. 
zips it to the back. Tackle made around the 33 yard line. That's good enough for another Air It's first and 10. Ball on their own 33. the corner makes it to the 47 the reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing they have no idea whether you're passing or running even if you need medium to long range yards first and 10 ball on the 47 yard line Strike complete. He's down. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. The Falcons will use their first time out of the half. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. Taylor was the intended receiver on the play. And once again, they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he tackles him hard at the 29. Well, that's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get him there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on a football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's what winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. And that one's incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Had his hands on it and dropped it. And I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. It's the 11th play of the drive. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Hey, the offense is in field goal range. They didn't get the first down there on third down, but they still have a chance to get some momentum here if they decide to get the three points. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Wide open receiver, and it's incomplete. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He lets it fly. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. From the 49-yard line, first down. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Caught enough for the first down, and he's taken down at the 21. Number 21 on the tackle at the 21 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Five wide. Fires to his receiver, first down. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. First down. They're inside the five.
That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he adds the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. He's taking out action now in Chestnut Hill. Here's a hotly contested battle. The Eagles are on top, 10-7. In other games, the Crimson Tide came into the game ranked fifth. Some said they didn't deserve that spot. They hope to prove their point today. Check out these two teams keeping it close. The Crimson Tide on top, 3-0. People were predicting some upsets this week, but I'd be shocked if that score holds up. Notre Dame, to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Air Force is coaching staff. I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. to get around the corner. They'll bring him down around the 45-yard line. Air Force will have one timeout remaining. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He wants it all. What concentration. Touchdown, Air Force. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. And yeah, boy, did he ever show some reflexes to snag that thing after it was tipped. And he tacks on the extra point. A short three-play, 78-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. But these guys got to be coming over to the sidelines after touchdown after touchdown saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both quarterbacks remaining upright and healthy. In fact, they haven't been breathed on in the first half. Neither team has allowed a sack, and it really speaks well for the relationship that the quarterback has and the feel that he has for his offensive line. No, absolutely, and we always talk about those guys and going out to eat. Well, let me tell you something. They're earning a big, fat steak dinner. And those fat guys get the porterhouses, too. They're not a cheap day. Those guys, they're earning it right now, keeping me up and right, keeping the keeping the quarterback upright, keeping him clean, you know, not letting anybody hit him. You've seen, you've seen great Hall of Fame quarterbacks turn average when they get popped and when they get hit and when they get, you know, beat around a little bit. These guys, they haven't even been touched. So you can, you can uh, go ahead and say check, please, right over here because that QB better be taken care of. And the quarterback's calling home, Mom, Dad, please send money. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Green takes it at the four. Tackle at the 21-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gains his way to the 30-yard line.
Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They bring him down in the backfield. He's to the 40. Complete. And down he goes. Around the 28-yard line. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. Scrambling. Tackle at the 22. Looking for his man, incomplete. They'll line it up again on third down. on the corner the 10 he's in for the score and they're back in it what made this so impressive was first his ability to see where the space was to run and then the athletic ability to get it into the end zone And he converts the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, check out what's happening in Chestnut Hill. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Clemson, once again, this game just goes to show you never take anything for granted in college football. The Eagles on top, 17-10. Well, if that score holds up, that would be water cooler talk on Monday morning. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 32. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Complete. He's got room. Brought down at the 45-yard line. Number 21 Man, makes the set at the 45-yard line. Three down, three down. First down. Mike six. Mike six. <laughs> Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's tackled at midfield. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. Sacked on the play. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Strike to his receiver, no good. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line.
They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 26. Fuller gets a carry right side. Nice run there as they work the outside. Scrambling around. Good tackle there in space. That's good for a of three yards. That'll make it fourth and two. Jack is back to receive. He makes it out to midfield. Not a bad return. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. The Falcons quarterback down there on the sideline, he was injured early. He means so much to this team. And right now, it looks like he's maybe going to be able to get back in the game. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, so we'll hope so. Just about three yards there. You know, this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop. So that's a good job here by the defense to slow him down. Offense lines up in a five-wide set. The defense anticipating pass here. Quick out to his receiver. That's a great tackle at the 38. Gilbert with the tackle at the 38-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's tackled around the 29-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and nine. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw, almost intercepted. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He's on the run. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Irish. That did more than just put six points on the board. It takes a lot of pressure off the offensive coordinator when the man under center can show that he's a dual threat. He makes the PAT. So that's a five-play, 50-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Harris. As his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's tackled at the 26. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He laterals the ball. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Second and 13. It's second down now. 13 to go. Ball on their own 23. That's three down and one to go. Notre Dame's got a three touchdown advantage. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. From their own 38 yard line, it's first down. tries to buy some time. 
He's taken down at the 44-yard line. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Quick strike, and he drops him. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Tackle made at the 43. This guy's out of his stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. He's been found out right here on this play. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's out of bounds around the 41-yard line. The offense is going to try to open this field up coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. He's got the corner. He's at the 30. Throws a laser across the middle. And they make the stop around the 18-yard line. That's a gain of 12 on the play. First down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He goes out of bounds around the 15-yard line. That'll make it 77. throw and he's got his receiver again the 10 he's ringing up the points with all these touchdown throws that's his fourth well what we have right now is a quarterback who's very comfortable with his offense he believes in his system and the coaches and players believe in him you couldn't ask for a better situation He hits the PAT. A five-play, 45-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. He's to the 20. And he's hammered down. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here. But that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Taken down around the 25-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 25. Less than three minutes in the game. Passes it to the middle of the field. He's to the 40, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 46-yard line. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. Check 
Inside the 44. but they fall short of the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. Pittman is waiting for the snap. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. Just over a minute left. Has some daylight. They'll bring him down at the 28. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's to the 40. Makes it to the 44. Two times, two times. Two down, two down. Mike, 36. Today we saw a game that wasn't even close. Notre Dame, 42. Air Force, 14. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.